Okay. Here we have a 424 sub-zero evaporator coil that is leaking at the blast joint. This is the lower evaporator on this 424 coil. Now I couldn't pick this up with a halide leak detector, but you can see it's the blast joint. Okay, so now you know. Right there. So we're going to attempt to repair that blast joint as opposed to changing the whole coil. First thing we need to do is we have to clean it with the wire brush. This is a, an aluminum evaporator, as you can see, hopefully. Copper to aluminum joint here. This is a blast joint. And the way a blast joint works is they mold aluminum to copper by combining the atoms, the copper atoms and the aluminum atoms through a very high intensity electrical charge. Okay. You need a wire brush to do this. Well, we're going to use a new kind of solder that's just recently become available. And we've used it before and it works. And if this possible to repair these blast welds it's going to save us a lot of a lot of work and it's going to save the consumer a lot of cost because to replace these evaporator coils we usually do them in pairs there's one up on the top also um, it, it's okay to change just one if you know it's leaking from the one and I did test this and it, I did see bubbles brewing out of this joint so the other option would be to use a lock ring, a Vulcan lock ring coupling on here by cutting out the joint and combining the two together. But it would be awkward to do it inside here because the tool we use to compress the lock rings is huge and I'm not sure it would fit. So we're trying this out and we're going to find out if it works. So, stand by. Okay, here we go. Let's try to solder this blast joint. We're using a number three tip with the micro MC tank as opposed to a propane tank because we need a really small flame in here. You notice I have this piece of aluminum to protect the cabinet. Okay, let's try that out. 